Just when I thought the Ace family were starting to lay low and we're getting into drama every week, so much just happened all at once and it's pretty crazy. Shyla has come out and exposed Austin and Austin's dad. Messages have been released and Catherine went on a 15 minute rant over on her Instagram story trying to call Shyla out. I'm gonna say one last time, stop talking about my family, my children, me, my husband, it's done. Stop talking about us. It's a mess, so let's get into it. So for this one, I think we need to start all the way back at the very beginning. Literally so much has happened and there's so many people involved, so I'm gonna try and break this down for you guys as simply as possible because it's a lot. As you guys probably know, Landon McBroom is Austin's brother and he had a joint family channel with his girlfriend, Shyla. The channel was called This Is LNS and they had nearly 3 million subscribers. Their videos really followed the typical Ace Family type of content and they actually saw a lot of success doing the whole family channel thing. In May of 2021, Shyla deleted all of the videos on their joint channel and posted a video saying the family channel was over. She said that she would be taking over the channel on her own and Landon was gonna be focusing on his boxing career. So as of now, this is LNS is no longer. And um, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Landon is really focused on boxing and he's taking it really serious and he wants to pursue that. And we decided that I would take over and this will now become my channel. But that never ended up happening. In September, Shyla created her own YouTube channel and posted a video titled The Truth. In this video, Shyla revealed that her and Landon broke up in June and claimed that he was abusive in all ways. Landon and I, we broke up. He was physically, verbally, emotionally, you name it, our entire relationship. She even said that Landon's mom was going through her personal business banking account and she was sending the exact dollar amounts to Landon. She also talked about the night that Landon and his friend allegedly tried to kidnap her daughter. I, I, I saw Joe walk with soul onto the street, leave the front yard and go onto the sidewalk. Instantly I was like, no, because you know, the day before I'd heard that conversation with his mother. So I'm like, keep my baby in my vision all times. And so I went over there and I said, Joe, um, give, give me soul, give me my daughter. And he like motioned and like turned his back to me and kept going. I have a broken foot on the guy, a broken um, foot. I'm a little slower. So I'm like, Joe, give me my daughter. And I'm trying like my hardest not to like, you know, panic, but I, I could feel my leg. Like... The whole video was just talking about how she didn't feel comfortable or safe with Landon or his family. She knew his family would try and make her sound like the crazy one and maybe even pull some kind of stunt to get her daughter taken away from her. A month after Shyla posted that video, Landon came out with his own video titled The Real Truth. In this video, he said he was proving his innocence and pretty much denied everything Shyla alleged in her video. He also posted footage from a meeting that he had with his mom, Shyla, and her mom. He was using the footage to try and make Shyla out to be the crazy one because she was getting really emotional over what was happening and I can't say I blame her. So, okay, I'm a lot of people saw right through this. Landon obviously knew that the camera was recording, so of course he wasn't going to get emotional and maybe act out how he would if it was behind closed doors. You could also hear Landon perfectly clear, so a lot of people accused him of even going as far as wearing a hidden microphone. The situation ended up dying down and Shiloh went on to launch her own athletic clothing line and she made the decision to no longer show her child on the internet. She said she really regretted having a family channel and she wanted her daughter to have privacy. Now this was really great and it just shows how mature Shyla is. Despite Landon pushing back and expressing that he still wanted to show his daughter online, Shyla stuck to her decision. She chose her daughter's safety and privacy over making money, which isn't something any of these family channels can say. 
That brings us to today, where things get really messy. Austin recently went to training for his upcoming event, and he brought his brother Landon along and Landon's daughter. Despite knowing that Shyla didn't want her daughter being posted online, Austin took a video of Shyla's daughter and posted it for millions of people to see. Now imagine being Shyla sitting at home and coming across Austin McBroom's Instagram story showing your daughter to all of his followers. I just can't help to think that it was probably done intentionally. They've made it very clear that they don't like Shyla and it was just another attempt to discredit her by not respecting her wishes. Shyla got on Instagram and let me tell you, she called Austin out like I've never seen before. She showed a message that she sent him which said, stop posting my kid, post your three content makers and leave mine out of it. You're really a dumb do you really need another lawsuit? Think about that. I don't even care to blackmail you or anything like that. I won't post any of the content of you at your little house. Leave my kid out of it. She then captioned it, leave mine out of it. All I ask is not to post her because she deserves to live a normal, safe, private life. I've let this slide so many times. Stop playing with a mother. She then went on to say a little something personal about Austin, writing, Stop playing with mine. I'd be so cool. You had three for money. Leave mine innocent. You want to post my most private thing time and time again. She then said, Yes, he be cheating, and yes, her d knows. As I'm sure you guys know, the cheating rumors with Austin are nothing new. Every year, a handful of cheating allegations go around and Austin simply denies them and blames it on the haters. Jeff Wittick actually just talked about Austin and his cheating rumors during Bradley Martin's podcast last week. And this is what he had to say. Austin Obviously. Bro. Oh, <laughs> what are you yes. talking about? Yes, dude. Bro, Every bro, single bro, chick I've me. ever managed, he's in their DMs, bro. bro. I cannot believe chick. it. Bro, I was, so okay. what is his wife just not give a no, 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 please don't, don't please know. don't. I don't want to get into this. I just said a wife. It could be I a, have no idea what the circumstances are. All right, are. what I'm trying to say to you is this. Yeah, we might have to cut that. When Write that down. I cannot believe that after all these years, because I was seeing this happen in 2017, 2018, I'm with a chick yesterday. <laughs> yesterday, <laughs> homie. Go. I got a girl two weeks ago, same thing. She goes, same yo, thing. yo, so-and-so. Sent DM a message me. and unsent it. And unsent it. Yeah, oh, he said the same shit. And yo, sent he... it again and unsent it. I go, homie, how is this real? So clearly everyone knows and it's really nothing new. She then went on to say, yes, they broke. Yes, they had baby number three via IVF to make sure it was a boy. And then the most shocking thing she said was, oh, and you know how you tried to have security and Cole, what's his name, when that video came out? That video is the one Cole released on the Ace Family titled The Truth About the Ace Family, where he alleged some pretty horrific things about Austin and Austin's dad. I mean, like really, 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 really horrific things. Things I can't really even say involving S. Shyla finished off by saying, yes, him and his dad do it together, referencing cheating, I think. And she continued, yes, his mama knows too and supports it. Shyla then went on to tweet, something about a man texting from a fake number feels, I don't know, zesty. And then she posted a screenshot to her Instagram of someone texting her mom, pretty much trying to blackmail her. They wrote, let's do the thing where we stop talking about this family and that doesn't concern you. I'm not gonna tell you again. You don't want us to post all the footage we have, psycho. Remember, Joseph has it all. And Shyla's mom responded and said, I think you sent this to the wrong person, but good to know you're threatening my family. I will make sure to save this and proceed accordingly. And then the person responds back and says, threatening? No way, mocking your daughter's actions. Every time she posts, we will. Keep your daughter off the internet. Shyla then captioned this picture and said, At this point, it's safest for me to keep this on the internet. It's scary how far people will take it to keep me silent. It's been years of me being silent. Then to make the situation even worse, Catherine got on her Instagram stories and posted over 15 minutes worth of stories trying to expose Shyla and stick up for Austin and Landon. I'm going to be completely honest and vulnerable um up front with you guys just real and like authentic in the way that i know i can be 
Um, so I want to get on here and talk to you guys about Shyla and what she's been saying um, and the lies that she's been spreading. And I find that like in life, there's like a way of handling things and then there's a way that you go about things and you obviously you get the consequences. And I feel like Shyla just going on the internet and just being super immature and saying things that aren't true and not coming to me personally. If you have a problem with me, you got to come to me personally. Like that's like my, my go to like. When I got a problem with someone, I call them up. That's kind of like my personality. That's kind of my vibe. That's how I do things. And I've called you, Shyla, before when I had a problem with you two years ago. Uh, when you made a video about my skincare line, I called you that night. Um, and I texted you. And that's kind of like my vibe. Like, that's how I do things. So if you've got a problem with me, let's let's talk about it, right? Yeah, because Catherine is supposedly an expert when it comes to handling situations like this. Let's just count the amount of lawsuits they've been in where they lie and blame everything on the haters. Or how about the time they pretended their house wasn't being foreclosed on for months until it was physically impossible to hide it any longer. I was thinking about it and, you know, I'm not impulsive like she is. I really just, I really just like sit with my thoughts and really think about things and I analyze it and that's just kind of the personality that I am so when she had said all these like negative dark lies about my family I was thinking about it and I was like wow like I actually pray for this person like I do silent prayers all the time and I send her good vibes I've been doing since I can remember and it's showing and she's she's like telling on herself like she's showing her true colors and it's like it's so obvious see this is the part that really made me mad the fact that Catherine wants to sit there and act like the calm mature person while calling Shyla impulsive is so disgusting Shyla had enough courage to leave the McBroom family just knowing how hard it would be and how much backlash she would probably get over it. She made the decision to take her daughter off the internet and give up a channel of nearly 3 million subscribers. She tried to set a boundary of not posting her daughter online, but your husband completely ignored that and posted her for millions of people to see. Her reaction to that kind of disrespect isn't impulsive, and I don't think Catherine has any right labeling her as that when she has no idea what she's been through or what she's still dealing with. So to get straight to the point, the other night Austin went to the gym like he always does. He's in camp right now, so he's training for a fight, and he had a sparring. So he invited the whole family. Um, his dad was there, our son was there, his friends. You know that what I do for a living is content. So I've been on YouTube for a very long time, and I make content and we film for a living and you know we've shared glimpses of our lives so he was at the gym he was making content like he always does and he made this very innocent video of him kind of going towards our son and Shiloh's daughter Soline who's his niece Austin's niece and she was kind of in the background you couldn't really see her she's kind of like to the side and then he kind of focuses on our son and very cute like innocent video so Shyla respectfully being the hawk that she is watching every single one of our stories and our videos and trying to find an opportunity to speak on our name this is the time that it comes to an end and i'm going to share how i feel so she claims that her daughter is being used for clout all right so let's discuss this um shyla i don't know if you know what clout is okay so there's a difference between clout and then family right so you got a family that's, you know, they're, they're well known, they have a lot of eyes on them, and, you know, we started YouTube, we didn't know we were going to be as successful as we are, we did it with pure intentions, everything happened so naturally and so pure and so real, I love my job, I love what I do, and you, Shyla, you jumped on the bandwagon, and that's what you started to do, and you did it for many years, and all of a sudden, when your relationship ended, when Landon broke up with you, you decided that because it wasn't in your favor anymore, that you were going to decide that, you know, your daughter is clout now, which doesn't make any sense. I understand that, you know, you're telling the world that you don't want your daughter on the internet anymore, um, that you've grown, that, you know, you don't like that, which I have complete respect for. I feel like that's a beautiful thing if that's what you decide you want to do. But you're also very contradicting. So let's just make that clear. This is what I don't get. Just because Shyla once had a family channel and participated in all of that doesn't mean that she doesn't have the right to change her mind. Shyla was super young when she started her family channel. Catherine is in her 30s and should probably know better by now when it comes to internet safety and kids. 
It doesn't matter if Shyla had a family channel for like 20 years. If she deleted everything and made the decision to stop, that doesn't give you the right to still post her kid. So then you proceed and you say some lies and you say that I had IVF treatment for my third child to have a boy and that's 1000% not true. That's probably the only thing I'll agree with Catherine on. The IVF comment wasn't really necessary and I don't think it added to the point that Shiloh was trying to make. Whether she did do IVF or not isn't really anyone's business anyway, so yeah. She then denied the allegations that Austin tried to harm Cole Kerrigan. That is so far from what Austin is and how he would ever speak and react and you literally have no idea who my husband is you've never known us like that and you for you to just like say something so dark and evil is really scary and um i just find that that was completely out of line and this is mainly the reason why i'm making this video is because you need to be stopped and you really do need to heal you need to stop pretending that you're healed and you really have to look inwards and i can help you literally like i do not mind to help you through this, but this has got to stop. She also addressed the claim of being broke, and it seems like that was the one thing that really bugged her, of course. I'm gonna bring this one up, but you you said you claim that our family is broke. So that's like one of like the famous like narratives that the internet loves to talk about. And to be honest with you, I know that like your supporters, like the people that are supporting you genuinely only have one thing in common with you, and that's your lies. Oh, actually two your lies and then that you don't like us literally those are the only things that your supporters have in common with you i get that money is your number one motivator it's all you talk about it's all you think about it's literally like it was all that your relationship was about i get it that you know towards the end that's all you cared about the truth is is that if you don't understand what money truly is you will never make money because money is an energy exchange and it comes in like waves Okay, and that's what we are. We are energy. Catherine finally says that she's just sticking up for her family and says Landon never abused anyone. Place and the truth is that Shyla, you know that you've been carrying this lie about Landon being abused, and you know that that's not true. And you gotta let that go. You have an amazing father to your daughter, and you need to start like accepting that this is your reality and that you created it because this is all done by you and accept that you know things didn't go how you wanted and that's it like Catherine also tried to claim that she's a girl's girl but some girls have a darkness to them and take advantage of innocent men and one thing about me is that i'm a girl's girl so i support women i advocate for women that's my vibe that's who i am right but I also know that there can be a lot of darkness to women and some women take advantage of very innocent men and they use their power to get what they want and I think that it's very unfair what you've been doing to Landon. I just, I just can't. Meanwhile, everybody knows that it's not true. Like, you don't know what it's like to be in a kitchen like just doing the dishes and your husband walks in and you across the face with a pan for no reason. Like you don't know how it feels to, to go through that. So for some reason, Catherine seems to think that the only type of to exist is the type that's very noticeable. Shyla literally said it was not only physical, but also emotional and verbal. Catherine wasn't living with them 24-7, she didn't know what happened, so I'm not sure why she feels so confident to say to her millions of followers that Shyla was lying about something so serious. She then finished off her rant by sticking up for Austin's mom and once again saying she's just sticking up for herself and her family. You know, you talk about my children, you talk about my family, you talk about my mother-in-law, like my mother-in-law who's the most selfless, most kind, most helpful. She's also like super girl's girl, like she try to help you. So yeah, personally, I don't think this is a good look for Catherine. The whole condescending tone Catherine used, trying to pretend like she praised for Shyla, trying to claim that she lied about this, claiming that she has a darkness to her, it's just so gross, even for Catherine. So far, Shyla hasn't responded to anything. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below, and I'll see you next time.